Hey, it's Shelly from Best Buy's blog. We've been testing out the Swift BMX electric bike. I had no idea that BMXs have ventured into the world of electric bikes, but after riding the Swift BMX, I'm pretty glad they did. We had so much fun riding this bike on off-road trails, and we took it over to the local dirt jumps, and there's just so much terrain you can cover with the Swift BMX. The Swift BMX electric bike is a 108 centimeter bike, so 42 and a half inches. It has a built-in battery and motor, so the battery and motor are not detachable. It has foot pegs that you can switch from the front to the back of the bike, or vice versa, depending on how you'd like to use it. And it's pretty lightweight. It weighs only 18 kilograms, so just about 40 pounds. You might think that sounds pretty heavy for a bike, and in reality it kind of is but electric bikes tend to be on the heavy side because of the built-in components so my own electric bike is about 55 pounds the swift bmx also has 20 inch performance tires as well as mechanical disc brakes this is a single speed drivetrain on this bike and it uses a charger this is the charger to recharge the battery so the battery takes about five hours to charge and once it's charged, you should get about 56 kilometers range. To test out the Swift BMX, we took it to our local dirt jumps as well as rode it on the road. And we also took it down various trails and into the skate park. We didn't grind anything in the skate park using the foot pegs or anything, but you can see that it is a very versatile bike. It can handle all sorts of terrain. For me, the unique thing about the Swift BMX is that it has a throttle. So some e-bikes require you to pedal and consistently pedal to keep your speed up, even if they have different power levels. With the Swift BMX, you actually can just pedal a few times and then you can crank the throttle and then it'll just take off. So here's a look at what it's like when you're just using the throttle and you're cruising down the road. There's no pedaling required at all. You can just maintain your speed for as long as you have battery power. Power. The power on the bike will decrease slightly when you hit hills and it actually does affect your battery life as well when you're constantly going up hills but if you're on the flats you can just crank it and it'll maintain that speed. You can adjust your speed levels just by pressing those buttons on the display and you can also see what speed level you're at or assist level as well as see how uh, fast you're going and the distance that you've rode. There are three assist levels on this bike, so you can choose zero if you opt to not use any assist at all, or you can just go up from the levels depending on how much you'd like. It is level three that can hit the 32 kilometer an hour speed cap, but you can also hit that just by pulling the throttles. You don't have to shift through the assist levels, you can just pull the throttle and that will take you to max speed. The bike itself seems quite durable. We didn't have any issues at all using it. The battery charges within five hours. We did notice that as the battery drains and you're attempting to go uphill while pulling the throttle, you do lose speed. It is definitely peppier with a full battery. This bike has foot pegs so that you can use it for grinding at a skate park. We didn't drop into the skate park or anything. We didn't want to scratch the paint because dropping in would have required us to drag the bottom frame along the bowl. But this bike would definitely be a little bit heavier than most BMX bikes. And so I'm not entirely sure if that's what you would use it for anyway. That being said, it is really easy to switch the foot pegs from front to back if you do want to take it into a skate park. I also like how the Swift BMX has a light. So the light is built in and if it's dusk and you'd like to see what you're doing or have be visible to other cars, it's very easy just to flip on the light. Everyone in my family thought this was a great little bike to ride. They were actually fighting over it, over who got to ride the BMX when we'd go and hit the trails. I definitely didn't get my own turn as often as I would have liked to. The motor is powerful. It can take the hills and the trails and the battery life is long enough to get you where you'd like to go. I think if you're looking for an e-bike for one of your kids or you would just like to have a electric BMX, it's a very unique bike and it is extremely versatile versatile so you can pretty much take it anywhere. That's it for my look at the Swift BMX electric bike. You can see my full written review at Best Buy's blog. Thanks for watching.